eight year old when he got home, he looked so terrified, like his eyes were so scared. Belmead police say a 20 year old is in the McLennan County Jail tonight after making a social media threat to La Vega ISD schools earlier. That threat leading to a district wide lockdown. Yeah, as you just heard, one parent very upset. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski there today as the students were finally dismissed. Andrew? Todd, Lauren, that's right. Confusion, frustration, those were some of the feelings as parents waited across the street from La Vega High School earlier this afternoon. Most of them hearing nothing from the district directly until after school was over. Bellmead police say there was no active threat and little after four this afternoon, students were released school by school. This was the scene outside La Vega High Wednesday afternoon as students finally made their way out of class. Mira, 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 he was dealing about it. Like they locked everything down. Nobody can get in or out. A district-wide lockdown after a social media threat had parents looking for any sort of communication from the district. Did not even let us know. And like, that is so scary as a parent. Like, you have to worry about your kids. Belmead police say they arrested 20-year-old Benjamin Walton for making a threat to the district on social media. All this after police say they made contact with him on a La Vega campus on Tuesday. He was on one of the campuses in the parking lot, wasn't in the school. There was no actual threat at that point. He was just wearing a mask, which is kind of unusual behavior. Tara Jacobs, a La Vega mom, says she first found out about the lockdown after her eight-year-old didn't come home on time. She had to call the school to find out there was a lockdown and says she didn't get an official message until after 4.15. No, we're just not going to tell y'all. You got to find out through Facebook or something, and that's not right. A number of other parents are also taking to social media to vent their frustrations with the communication gaps. One parent writing, all four of my daughters are home now, and I was never contacted one time by the district nor any of the school campuses. The district released schools one at a time, many students arriving home late. They, they told the bus riders to be in the cafeteria and wait for their yeah, buses. They're, they're still they're, in there. Yeah, they're, their buses are delayed. I got out around an hour later, uh, like to my house. Parents happy their students are home safe Wednesday night, but still frustrated at how little they've heard from the district. Belmead police say the situation is still under investigation. The chief told us earlier today he couldn't share more on the nature of the threat made against those campuses just yet. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News.